2020 given access to the simulated cockpit at Embry-Riddle Aeronautics University in Daytona, Florida. So I'm going to literally learn what it's like to take off. Yep. They take us inside this $15 million simulator. Never flown a plane before, so okay. this is my first attempt. I was about to learn how to take off. I'm going to have you do the takeoff. Try to stay on the center line as we roll on down the runway. And it... Trying to keep on the runway here. Yeah, and we're at 100 knots and V1 and rotate. Rotate. Okay, so we're going up Get right. right around magenta. You can go ahead and turn your yoke a little bit there. Yeah. There you go. Now you see wow. we got us, we're banking. Okay, and normally the flight crew would bring the gear up and we're, we're at a safe speed. So I've just taken off. You just took off and I haven't touched it yet. You're still flying us. We timed it just three minutes, 27 seconds before we're able to turn on the autopilot. The computer's taking over the job. Researchers are trying to help pilots better prepare for those times when computers fail, much like they did to us in that simulator. When suddenly the autopilot is not functioning and we're in a spiral. Now we're about to stall. Now we're about to stall. Try and pull back one more time. Try to pull back. And we'll take some bank out. 